Hey everyone, in this episode of Sound Switch Quick Tips, I'm gonna show you my automation workflow and how I tweak the tracks after I automate them. So one of the biggest things that people always ask about is do I have to program every track? And I've covered this in the past. You don't have to program every track. You can use auto loops. But there is the auto script feature in automation for Sound Switch. So I use this a lot to start, and I use it to kind of get the, the foundation of how my track's gonna work. So I've set up my new setup that I'm gonna try out up here. I'm using a Chauvet Core 3x3s up top, some ADJ Mega Power Profile Plus is down at the bottom. I've loaded up a track in the computer. We're gonna run the automation on it. I'm gonna talk you through some of what the tweaks that I've done with it, and then we'll play it back, and you guys can take a look at it. So mm, this video probably is gonna be so quick as they usually are but you'll see why in a minute. So I've loaded up my track into sound switch here and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna select automation auto script. So this is the automation menu, pulse intensity, bridge intensity, movement speed, color change speed. So if you're not using the low BPM setting, you can change things just by clicking here. But I'm gonna use low BPM. This is a trap remix, it's a slower song, so we're gonna select low BPM, takes those out of the equation. High energy pulse is when you use like the, it's the changes on the color track. So like the snare hit, it becomes a white pulse. I'm gonna keep that on for this, but this is a new option in 1.7 that you can turn that off. So automation is a great tool. I use it mostly on like the slower tracks or I keep it on the low BPM. Using like for like 128 BPM song, it gets a little repetitive. So sometimes it's worth it just to build it on your own. Um, but you can play around with it and see what you like. So. Here we are, it's been scripted pretty quickly. Basic show, easy enough to work with. Got our intensity, our bridges, our colors, and our movement positions here. So now let's say I don't really like necessarily the color here, so I'm gonna highlight this entire thing. I'm gonna go up here to hue, and we're gonna unlink the hue, and I'm gonna change this a little bit. And now, that's gonna get a little wild. There's some transitions in here. Let's try that. Let's take a look what that looks like. So that's pretty wild, but I like it. So we're gonna go with it. So now let's get it playing. Pretty basic intensity through here. Just the pulses. Zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. So right here, a lot of times I like to take these bridges and just delete them so you can just click on the point and double click it and it goes away. All right, so I'm gonna stop that right there because I know that this is building up into a drop into a drop, and I wanna throw some strobe in here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight that, select strobe, I'm gonna bring this up. It's a little bit of a speed up on the strobe. Apply that and now we'll go. So let's take this. I've got my groups here. Let's do some chases here. So we'll do, let's do random chase on this. And we're gonna group, select everything. Go down to 1 16th. So that's in. So you can't really see that it's there because it's on the group tracks, but if I open this up, you can see the chases down here. I'm not gonna show you, yeah, whatever. I'll show you how it looks on the core three by threes, but since they are individual channels, there's a lot of it to show. So I have it mostly minimized, but I'm going to click this folder to close it because I don't really want to look at it. And then let's do another, we'll do another random chase here, do random chase two, the group, and we'll do 16th again. So again, I'm going to get rid of that, fade it down. Let's do some more chases. I like to alternate them and stuff like this. So we'll do, let's do an alternating chase. Actually, yeah, let's do, 
alternating chase. I drag it over both the groups and select four. We do forwards. We'll do sixteenths on this. All right, and let's do another one here. We'll do a bounce chase. Let's play it to the group. Do you want sixteenths again? And then we'll do another chase right here. I'm gonna do a follow chase. Groups. I'm gonna bump up this light count a lot because since those core three by threes are pixel mappable, it follows out so each pixel is its own, it counts as its own light. And we'll do 16th again. So right here, I'm gonna get rid of this bridge completely. I'm just gonna have a nice fade down. Again, you just do that by double clicking on the points right here and it goes away. So let's do some more chases. We're gonna do, let's do some random chases, but let's separate our groups here. So we'll do random chase on the three by threes, and then we'll do a random chase on the pars. And then you know what? And we're just gonna repeat that again. Random chase, sixteenths. All right, and so there we have it. So let's take a look and see what that looks like on our main show.
I hope that was helpful to those of you that are trying to figure out the best ways to use SoundSwitch and how to use the auto script and automate feature. There's a lot of different ways you can do things. This is a way that works for me. It may not work for everyone. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, if there's something that you'd like me to cover, that you'd like me to do for a SoundSwitch video, let me know. Comments, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to talk to you and happy to see if I can come up with a video to help you guys out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.